What's a secret you won't share with anyone in person, but you are willing to share anonymously? There is a snake that lives in the wall along the stairs leading to my basement. He has his area. And I have mine. And we respect each other's space. Ate a huge suburb subway. On my way out I let out a massive fart. I then drove to a gas station. I got out of my car and some old lady quickly parks her car behind me and angrily slams her car door. Comes up to my face and starts screaming just who do you think you are? Farting in my face like that. You're lucky I didn't cause the cops on you. She writes down my license plate number and drives off fast. I stood there confused for like 5 minutes. I never told this to anyone. The. I enjoy video games. I thought I learned how to tie my shoes when my mom showed me in pre-k and I went around telling everyone I knew how to tie my shoes. The next time I tried to tie them though it turned out I forgot how. But I was too embarrassed to ask for help. I didn't learn how to tie my shoes until I was 18 or 19. I don't really want to be with my girlfriend romantically. But she's my best friend. And I don't want to lose her from my life. So I won't break it off. I'm the reason my cousin is mentally handicapped. We are the same age. And when we were 7 our grandpa bought dirt bikes for us. Well we decided to make our own trail in the woods. Took the entire summer. I put this tree branch purposely at roughly head level. Just so he could duck under it and it would look awesome. The branch was heavy. But I was able to sit it conveniently between two trees. He was more brave than me. So he went first. Being dumb kids. We didn't wear helmets. I yelled for him to duck. But he didn't and hit his head on the branch. Got knocked backwards and hit his head again straight into the ground. I told everyone it was an accident. Grandpa sold the dirt bikes. I didn't see my cousin a whole lot after that. That was nearly 25 years ago. I see him every Christmas. And it's always the same. In a wheelchair. Being spoon fed by his mom. He can't speak. He likes to draw funny shapes. He most likely doesn't remember the incident. And I don't know if he remembers me. But that's what haunts me. When I was younger I pooped in a water slide and saw my poop floating the entire day in the pool on the end of the slide. I want to murder my daughter's childhood rapist. It was her mother's boyfriend and it happened when she was 10. I found out about this only after many years. My daughter knows that I know but she refuses to talk about it and will not bring charges against him. Maybe out of fear. Or she is moving past it. I don't know. Only the daunting specter of a life sentence in prison stops me from hunting him down and killing the pose. If I magically got a pass from the police. 10 stroke 10 he is 6 feet under. I revealed to a reddit friend fact I am a closet schizophrenic who has had daily conversations for 40 years with my daughter who passed away as an infant. I cannot tell you how liberating it was to finally share something that I couldn't even reveal to my therapist. Now that I am reddit outed I've shared the news with my husband, best friend, and therapist. What did I learn? That they suspected my condition all along. And are unconditionally supportive. I was 16 and very curious about SX. Surprise. Thanks to all of the PRN in the Ottoman at the foot of my parents bed. So decided one evening that it was time for third base with the boyfriend. Only I was a natural redhead and all the ladies in the magazines had black pubic hair. T was the 80s. So I thought I was abnormal. Cut a long story short. I dabbed on black shoe polish before meeting him. Fortunately he was too nervous to go anywhere near the polished area so he never did find out. Neither has anyone else until now. I am secretly terrified that I will never have a healthy romantic relationship. Leukemia. CLL. Slowest growing form of leukemia and there's no treatment other than stem cell. And hopefully I won't need that anytime soon. Not even 40 yet. I don't look sick. Even my own family doesn't believe me. So why would anyone else? I guess you need to be frail. Pale. Skinny and bald to have cancer. Right? 
my ex-wife F ked her sister's husband on New Year's Eve 1998. Did it. The four of us know. That is it. The sisters sort of made up. My ex told me that it was rape. I don't know what to believe. I am just glad that I am divorced from that family in the drama. I have the most amazing girlfriend now. We talk. We communicate very well. It is a mature adult relationship. Good riddance to their bullshit. I have so many stories. My ex still would punish her and my kids by not letting them play together. Age 6. When she was mad at her sister. I have waited outside in the street while my ex still is inside talking to her husband about their daughter and when their car alarm goes off and people come running out the house I am to protect the daughter by controlling my ex bill. My ex husband's mother f kid. Then married. Her sister's husband. We called him uncle stepdad. I fart in my co-worker's small office all the time. We're friends and all. So it's nothing malicious. I know when he leaves and usually how long he's going to be gone so I'll hold my farts and when he leaves I'll walk into his office and air out. It's honestly hilarious. He will sometimes comment about it. He thinks that it's because he shares a vent with the bathroom two doors down the hall. He doesn't, but the office between his and the bathroom never stinks so there goes his theory. Sometimes I'll go let one off then like 10 minutes later get and I'm like dude. This f king office man. It f king reeks in here. I don't think they've changed the carpets in years. This is f king nuts. Meanwhile I'm holding my sides in laughter. I fall asleep to the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack every night. I don't tell people I'm autistic in person until I've known them multiple years. The only thing that stopped me from suicide is a reminder that my student loans would just pass to my parents if I did. And I don't want to inflict my bills on them or my little bro. E. A. Ro. I wasn't expecting this kind of reaction. Just wanted to share. Thank you all so much. When I was about 9. I went over to neighbor's house. I would usually go hang out with my adult neighbors because they would let me watch TV and give me snacks in exchange for helping them, with the intention of seeing if I could play with the foster puppies she had. Well. She wasn't there. But her door was unlocked and I just went in and played with the puppies. When I walked out of the house. She was coming down the driveway, there was a bunch of stuff in front of her door blocking it from view from the driveway. I just pretending like I had been waiting for a minute and we walked in and I got to play with the puppies again. I expected this to take a much darker turn. I had a baby when I was 15 and he was adopted. Closed adoption. Most painful thing I've ever gone through. He turns 18 in a few months and if he so chooses. He can find me. I'm married and have kids now. And my kids have no idea he exists. I really really want to meet him. But I'm terrified he's got mental disorders like his biological father, who is now in prison for murder. I have to. 1. That I have night terrors that I can't even explain. Usually dealing with bizarro scenes you'd see out of an American horror story episode. Usually about friends. Family. Acquaintances. Old friends I haven't seen in years. Literally anyone to the point of waking up crying and being scared to sleep. 2. That I think I am actually developing Alzheimer's at age 23. I have a hard time remembering anything nowadays. I couldn't even tell you what I did yesterday. It's as distant as being 5 years old in my mind. I don't tell anyone because I don't like the feeling of people thinking there is something wrong with me. I already struggle with the idea that I actually have autism and everyone just interacts with me to be nice. Get checked because night terrors coupled with daytime memory loss can be signs of sleep apnea. Which is very common. And super easy to diagnose and treat. Please see a neurologist. The reason my friend wrecked and totaled my four wheeler was not because he f-ked up. It was because I flipped it a week earlier and had not completely fixed the steering. In my defense this friend was an asshole. And he never once asked to use my four wheeler. Still someone could have seriously been hurt. He didn't ask to use it. Not your fault at all. My friend from work. 
Who is the happiest and most positive person I've ever met? Is the only reason I haven't killed myself yet. I've posted this on a different sub. But my wife thinks I go to work 30 minutes early because of my military training. In reality I get there early to watch a rerun of Dog the Bounty Hunter with the boy. I think that I am beginning to hallucinate every once in a while. It's mostly little things that are there. And then they aren't. I want the intimacy of a relationship but don't care about sx. I'm proposing to the girl of my dreams a week from today. Not really a deep dark secret but nobody knows but me. My little sister. 43. Died last the 1st of August. I want to die before any of the rest of my loved ones dies because I can't stand this pain. That I'm fighting feelings for someone who will never feel the same way about me. I was up head when I was like 6. But I'm a guy so I don't tell anyone. I told a therapist once and she was like how do you know. Like honestly don't f king asking me that I know what f king happened. Edited asking to ask. Also I'm glad this is starting to be taken more seriously. Judging from these comments. Oh that's a cue to get a new therapist. It sounds like you have. Which is good. When I was a kid. I had Sims 2 for PS2. I would make my sim woohoo and let the controller vibrate on my clit. I made my sim continuously woohoo. I was a weird kid. My reddit username. People I know finding out what kind of stuff I like and comment on online. That's my worst nightmare. Someone I know finding my username. The real reason my arm is broken is because I now owe a seemingly unobtainable amount of money to the wrong people because I tried to help my deadbeat brother out of a bad situation. Sartime people. Drugs can ruin not only your life but your family's life as well. Update. I'm still alive and have cut my brother out of the equation. I won't be talking with him or his circle anymore. I am going to disappear for a while and try to rebuild elsewhere. For those who want to help. Seriously. Thank you. I do no deserve a single bit of it. Under advice of an internet stranger. I am not going to stir the pot publicly with more details. But I'm happy to share stories via PMs. One time my wife and I got really drunk. The scallops she ate weren't sitting well so she went to sit on the floor of a hot shower. I join her and we are just sitting there hugging and she suddenly pukes all over me. Not too bad as we are in the shower anyway. A little later she has to pee and since neither of us want to move I tell her to just go. So she does. On me. True F King love yo. I'm deeply afraid of death. I'll remember that I will die someday. And have a panic attack. It's been happening on and off since I was a child. And the first ones were around Christmas. So I now hate it. No one but my close friends know. And it sucks because everyone I talk to a therapist about it. They write it off as something else. Like being afraid of growing up. Dude no. I just told you. It's death. Now that I'm single. I'm finding these panics harder to manage. I don't know what to do. Edit. Holy hell. I'm thankful for all of the people who took the time to comment on this. If any of you want to talk. Shoot me a PM. There's obviously more people that feel this way than I thought. And sometimes. It helps to talk. I fantasize about having superpowers and what I would do if I was granted them. It's mainly evil and selfish things. 10 stroke 10 would become a villain. My girlfriend cheated on me with her stepbrother. I walked in on them and I never saw her again. We dated for one and a half years too. Colon. My rapist's name is Ian. I don't think I've ever even typed that out before. Thanks for the gold internet stranger. 3. Added, the other people sharing and speaking out is moving. My penis is smaller than average. In junior high my best friend dated my ex. I got revenge by sleeping with his mom. I got a wooden ball stuck in my butt for a day. Went to school and stuff. Was terrified it was gonna be stuck forever and a doctor would have to get it out. Edit. 
This is now my top post. Thanks. I think. Next step. I have told my husband. And my mom knows. But nobody else. When I was 7. I pooped the bed in the middle of the night. Just like. A perfect log in my underwear. I was scared of getting in trouble. So I threw my underwear and shtee behind the dresser in my bedroom and promptly forgot I did that. My mom found it two weeks later. Edit. I'm not sure how proud I am for getting gold for my golden log. I'll take it. I was abused growing it. It ended when I realized I was now bigger and stronger. Said abuser raised their hand to hit me. I threw them into a wall. There was a fairly large dent that I had to plaster. Sand. And paint. But it ended a lot of pain. I've pegged my husband multiple times. He's a regular dude. But a freak in bed. That just means you're a good wife and he likes stuff in his butt. I've gradually felt more and more disconnected. I can ignore my friends for days and feel fine. People are so boring. Literally the only thing keeping me alive is that I don't want my children to grow up without a father. If anything happens to them I'm dead. Edit. Thank you so much for the encouragement. It really means a lot to me. I am getting therapy and have meds. It's been a long road and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. Yet. My mom was like this. Please get help. You don't have to live like this. Your kids can tell. And it's affecting them. They love you and want you not just to trudge through life but to be happy. You deserve to be happy. I don't really enjoy living anymore. I'm just going through the motions at this point. I saw Lebron James penis on TV. Remember when Lebron dunked on somebody or some shti and Marv Albert was like. And Lebron James showing off his mpness. I have killer anxiety and I'm really shy. Have to uphold a mask so I can fit in as the oldest male in my family. I drink every day and have trouble curbing it. I don't take the naltrexone I am prescribed because it turns me into a vampire who sleeps all day. Is up all night. And doesn't eat. I've been offered a threesome with my mate and his gf. Thinking of taking it up. Be careful. You don't want to fall for the old hey mate come have a threesome with my gf and me only to get there and your mate telling his gf is running late and the two of you should start without her. I'm constantly surrounded by friends that I love and who love me. But I always feel alone. I'm honestly incredibly lonely and I have been for years since high school. I joined the military. I'm going to school in a different state. And I've joined several clubs. Despite all of this I have no friends here or back home and everyone I know thinks I have a lot. I could never commit suicide. But I sometimes ponder about how easy it would be to just not have to deal with life. The last two years of my life have been emotionally. Very difficult. It's gotten a little bit better. But still not where I wish it was. I use homework as a coping mechanism. And I also use it to get out of my house. Where I honestly hate spending time. When I get off work. I try to find things to do. Just so I don't have to sit there alone. Falling asleep alone. My bed feels so goddamn huge. The first time I had an LSX. I wasn't aware that I needed to clean everything out beforehand. It got real messy real quick. I was mortified. Shti happens. If he sticks it there he has to know there can be repercussions. Did it with my cousin regularly for a few years till the pregnancy. This might be a good time to remind everyone that anonymity on the internet is just an illusion. I think I'm gay. But I could never disclose that cause of reasons. Username checks out. I might appear happy. Maybe making slight headway in my dream career. Working another job where I'm paid more than I've ever been. But I'm miserable. I hate my life. My wife and I are expecting our first child. We are the only ones who know whether it's a boy or girl. It's killing me knowing and not telling anyone. I didn't want to know at all until birth. But my wife did so I'll let her have it. It's a girl. Thanks for letting me share. 
I'm a virgin. We know. I think Justin Trudeau is a beautiful man. I'm a straight male and I'd bang JT. Some other kid grabbed my dick at a Rimka summer camp. I'm B. I'm out online just fine. I googled sx when I was 8 years old which led to mm sturbating well before puberty and I would have daily or guess ms but nothing would come out. I also starting using my mom's vibrator at 8 years old and I'd lay my penis on top of it while playing video games and just keep orgsming. Sounds efficient. I'm mad at my friends for never inviting me to social gatherings anymore and secretly sabotage them in any online games we play. I bought pizza from Little C Sears while wearing a butt plug once. Did it. Of course my first comment to break 1k is on my alt. And something I can never brag about. I think I have a crush on my friend. My friend is the same gender as me. There are so. So many people who feel the same way about their friends. Don't overly worry about it. I've had sx with 21 men in my 51 years. Swore I would take that number to the grave. Those are rookie numbers. I think unless you're a straight male this number isn't all that surprising. Mine is around 20 and I'm under 30 so guess I'm a sleut. I don't feel a burning hatred for Donald Trump. I just think he's stupid. Everyone I talk to is really liberal and they are very vocal about how they think he's the antichrist. I was falsely accused of our pay at my first college. She sobered up. Fully rescinded. Was arrested for filing a false report. Didn't matter. Liberal arts school with 70% female population. I was seen as garbage. Had to transfer. Never told my family. My wife doesn't know. Haven't talked about it in almost a decade. Nice try. FBI. I just wrote a big paragraph and deleted it. I guess I'm not willing to share it with anyone. I'm going to put a deadline on my relationship with the man I love for him to fix his shti or I'm leaving. I'm going to have this conversation in 5 minutes. FCK my life. Update. Dot. Probably not. Guys. Probably not. Nice try but you won't get my mother's maiden name. I want to have sx with other women other than my wife. We've been together since college. And I feel like I missed out on a lot of opportunities. For the record. I love my wife. But I want to experience other women. Very common. Been there. Done that. Wife agreed. After lengthy discussion. Well check the username. We were high school sweethearts and each other's first anything beyond making out. Despite what everyone will tell you to try and make you feel better. You did miss out on a lot of opportunities. That's just the cold. Hard facts. However. You received something back in trade. The love of an incredible woman. You have what many chase for an entire lifetime and never find. So yes. You missed out on all kinds of SZL opportunities and experiences. But you gained something so much more in return. Besides. If the wife is on board, there are solutions to your problem. However, having lots of sx and looking for love is much more difficult to solve. I like fat women. My wife has slowly been gaining weight over the years and it really turns me on. I know most would tell me to just tell her but I know it would really upset her and she wouldn't handle it well. My immediate family know. But when I was 20 I was fired from a job because I drank on the job. Didn't always do it but my addiction was progressing. At first people at work didn't know but one day I overdid it and almost passed out. The employers knew my mom and called her and she picked me up. Slept it off and next day I came in I was fired on the spot. Thought that would have been my rock bottom but I continued to drink for another year. 3 years sober now. Close bracket. I'm very open about the addiction and recovery. But I'm still embarrassed about this tidbit. I regularly post ads on Craigslist for gangbang meetups. I would be disowned if my very Christian family ever found out. Yeah. I'm an average. Relatively normal person. 30 years old. 
Pretty sure I'll be perpetually alone romantically for as long as I live. I'm gradually losing my ability to feel anything like I used to feel. Paranoid schizophrenia. Psychopathy. Who knows. Things have just been rough for the past couple of years. I'm not well and can't really afford to have someone. Maybe. Help me sort things out for $90 every other week. Nothing so exotic. Sounds like good old fashioned depression. Stroke. Some medications can cause flattened affect as well. Makes it hard to feel anything. Good or bad. Okay. I'm disappointed in everyone. No one posted their credit card details. After Equifax. That isn't a secret anymore. I decided once that I wanted to learn how to moonwalk. I started watching YouTube videos and practicing while I was alone. I worked on it every time I was alone until I felt I mastered it. I never did it in front of anyone and I never did it again. I was 30 years old.